Hello and welcome to UK Cerners. Today we will be showing you how to construct one of our outdoor barrel sauners. The first thing that you need to ensure when building a sauna is that your base is firm and level in all directions. You can then lay out your base sections. The number of sections that you have received will differ with each sauna. However, the process is exactly the same regardless of the number of base sections. Now fix the bottom section of the barrel to the base sections that you've just laid out. The bottom section of the barrel is easy to identify because it has got pre-drilled holes. Once the bottom section of the barrel is fitted in place, check carefully to ensure that the base is square. Do this by measuring diagonally from corner to corner and ensuring that the same measurement is achieved at each corner. Now that the base is complete, you can prepare the banding. To achieve the best results, peel the tape as shown on this video. Lay around 5 or 6 boards up one side of the barrel sauna and then carefully thread the stainless steel banded through until about 12 inches or about 300 millimeters overhangs at the side of the sauna base. Repeat this process for each of the sauna base sections that require a band threading, ensuring that you get a similar overhang from each section as these will be visible up the side of the sauna when the sauna is completed. Now continue with your sauna boards until most of the base is covered as shown in the video. We're now ready to start assembling the back section of the sauna. To do this, place the middle section into the rebate that's already cut into the barrel slats. Have someone hold this in place for you and then attach the sides and drill and screw at the top as shown in the video. Now that the back's complete, you can fit the front centre door section and then hold this in place with a barrel slat to the back. Place the rebate of the slat over the door front and the back of the cabin. This will hold it secure while you fit the sides. The sides of the front section should be fitted and secured in exactly the same way as the back by drilling and screwing into place as you did on the back wall. You can now start building the side walls of the barrel sauna. As you build the side walls up, use the 40mm panel pins supplied to pin every second board into place. This will ensure that the build goes smoothly and the boards are held prior to tightening the bands. Continue installing the slats until you reach the top of the sauna and then do the same for the opposite side, ensuring that while you are fitting the slats you are placing them firmly against the front and back of the sauna into the rebate and hitting them home firmly with a white faced hammer or mallet. Any black or rubber faced mallets will mark the wood, which is why we always recommend the use of a white faced hammer. When you reach the top of the sauna, you will find that the boards seem to be too big. However, the way to fit these is to lift up the two boards prior to the top board and then allow the top board to fit in between and then gently press them down. Now that all your slats are installed you can tighten up the stainless steel banding. This needs to be done evenly across all the bands that are installed on your particular sauna. You can now fit the door handle and then move on to the interior fit. We always start the interior fit with the speakers. Remove the front cover of the speakers and then connect the plug as shown. Now fix the speaker to the wall directly underneath the bench bracket using the two screws as shown in the video. Then replace the cover. 
you can now start fitting the internal benches. Place the bench in the sauna on the pre-installed bench support brackets on the front and back of the sauna. Once the bench is in place, you can then place the legs underneath and screw into place. The number of bench legs that you get will depend on the size of the sauna that you have bought. However, they should be spaced evenly along the length of the sauna and screwed into place. Now lift the bench to gain access to the top support screws and screw these into the side of the sauna as shown on the video. The control box should be mounted inside the wooden control box cover using the tabs provided to screw this onto the back face of the control box as shown in the video. The control box cover should then be mounted to the wall of the sauna as shown. You're now ready to move on to the internal electronics. These should be fitted to the back wall of the sauna laid out like we've laid them out here. Please note that the silver probe for the temperature sensor should be left protruding from the outside edge of the control panel box. This is to allow the temperature inside the sauna to be monitored by the control panel. You can now start fitting the horizontal and vertical trunking as shown. Now that the trunking is completed you can put the floor in place. Take care not to trap the wires which have been left for wiring the sauna heater. We will show you how to wire the sauna heater and the control panel in the later section of the video. This will go into more detail than we could have put in this section. Now move into the outside and fit in the shingles on the roof. The roof needs to be fitted with an under shingle membrane which comes with the sauna. This is quite often badly creased. And to get those creases out, you can either leave it in the sun during the summer, and they will smooth out quite easily, or if it's winter and cold, you will need to use a heat gun to remove the creases. You need to work from the bottom upwards, and the first row of shingles is always fitted upside down. This gives you a straight edge to work down to with subsequent rows of shingles. The second row of shingles needs to be fixed the correct way up, and the overlap needs to be halfway across the joint of the first row of shingles as shown. The nailing pattern for shingles is to always nail at the top and also nail halfway down the shingle in an area that will be covered by the next row of shingles. This ensures that the roof is waterproof. Shingles can be cut to size using a sharp utility knife and a straight edge. You will note that we have left the protective film in place. You should remove the protective film when building your sauna. This area of the video clearly shows the nailing pattern, where the shingle is fixed at the top, and also just above halfway down where it's going to be covered by the next row of shingles. It's important that you continue this pattern right up to the top of the sauna. Continue shingling up to the centre top of the sauna and then repeat for the other side of the sauna. You should always ensure that your shingling matches on the left and right hand side of the sauna. The shingles will naturally take the shape of the sauna roof over time. However, if it's cold and the shingles are brittle, you can use a heat gun as shown in the video. The ridge shingles are made by cutting a single shingle into three sections. The top ridge shingle should be fitted with the flat edge facing the outside edge of the sauna. The remaining shingles should then be reversed and fitted along the ridge as shown. Sit the second shingle on top of the first just to ensure that you get the edge fixing nails of the first shingle well covered under the position of what will be the second shingle as shown on the video. When reaching the end of the ridge section 
fit the end ridge tail first and then continue with the ridge tails over the top. The final ridge tail should be fixed with just two nails and then adhesive under the shaped end of the ridge tail. You will now have a neatly shingled roof that looks like this, with only two nails showing. Seal the two exposed nails up with the roof and gutter sealant. You are now ready to start fitting the sauna fascia boards. Fit the front and back fascia boards carefully in place, ensuring that all the joints are closely aligned. You are now ready to start sealing your sauna. This is the most important part in the installation process. Your sauna must be sealed correctly to ensure that it remains weathertight. If this process is not done correctly, the lifespan of your sauna will be compromised. You also need to seal where the cable enters the sauna. Ensure that you correctly seal the glass around the door as this is prone to condensation and water ingress into the wood.